Welcome back. She says it's a case against Ellsworth closure that personnel there are not allowed to make. So tonight we talked to a woman who says she's telling a story that's on the minds of many others. Our Terry Nelson reports on a local woman's unusual connection to the effort to save Ellsworth Air Force Base. Her fight is based on what used to be a nuclear power plant near Sundance, Wyoming. Genevieve Redfield describes this old nuclear power plant as a sad but special gravesite to visit. I held the world record for the longest operating nuclear power plant. 4,101. And four did we have a party Saturday night? <laughs> Remember, four did we? Exhilarating and dangerous times with a chemical legacy as potent as the memories. Genevieve takes comfort in the Ellsworth experts who monitor this area where the reactor is buried for radioactivity. And I love those people. And you don't find those people just any place. Those are trained people who know what they're doing and they care. Retired Master Sergeant Cliff Kuhn operated the reactor in 1966 and headed up the operation to dismantle it in 1969. If you were to break into the tanks, and that's all you'd find would be concrete uh, tanks, concrete blocks. That's all that's left. There's nothing, nothing major, major radioactive in there. I mean, there is some low-level radioactive waste in there, but it's all, it's all being decayed away. At Just remnants from an era of warfare Genevieve sacrificed so much for. Her husband worked here while climbing a ladder he fell, cutting his leg and exposing him to the radioactive material. It was a dead sentence and he knew it. But it's also a history she's proud of and a job she wants to see the Air Force complete. I don't know if the Defense Department knows this. They probably forgot about this. Well, I'm going to remind them of it. At Warren's Peak, Terry Nelson, Coda Territory News. If you would like to visit the former Sundance Air Station, the Forest Service is hosting a moonwalk at 7 at night, Saturday, June 18th. That meeting point is on Warren Peak outside Sundance. In other news.